Infrastructure is the complex series of systems which allow cities to work. The urban historian Lewis Mumford called it the invisible city. The cables and wires, sewers and pipes which carry the city's communications, energy, water and waste constitute an unseen city beneath our feet. And because we don't see it, we often only become aware of it when it stops working. The huge expansion of the city makes increasing demands on infrastructure, which needs to get smarter to provide not just for the city of today, but for the city of tomorrow. The FT City Ingenuity Awards aims to highlight the most innovative and interesting developments in infrastructure, from high-tech communications to basic services. So what can infrastructure encompass? At the 72-storey Shard, we're seeing London's first foray into the megastructure, an incredible densification and intensification of urbanity above a major transport interchange. The whole thing only has 50 parking spaces. Its architect, Renzo Piano, describes it as a vertical city. Just as extraordinary as its profile is the railway and bus station, the plazas and escalators, which bring public space back to life and allow the city to keep moving while still looking up to the skies. Just along the Thames, at Blackfriars, is a new station that expands across the river. Its roof is a jagged landscape of solar panels, which will provide half of its power. Roofs remain one of the city's great underused resources. In New York, however, on top of a stalled development, or design and technology have turned rooftops into farms, urban agriculture which further intensifies the mix of uses in the city. We might think of infrastructure as trains and tunnels, but we might not think of bicycle networks as infrastructure. JC Deco's self-service bicycle hire plans with Paris's hugely influential Velib changed that, and now dozens of major cities have adopted this common sense sustainable solution. Gridlock streets, meanwhile, are being addressed by Barcelona's Bit Carrier, a smart innovation which allows real-time traffic data to be fed into systems and used to make traffic management more efficient, saving energy, pollution and time. It's being used invisibly but effectively in cities across the world. Elsewhere, the problems are more fundamental. In the global south, the complex infrastructure we take for granted might only be a distant dream. Organisations like the Development Innovations Group and South African charity Ikayalami CORC aim to create the conditions in which infrastructure can develop, whether it is helping with finance or putting communities in touch with each other for mutual support and the sharing of knowledge. Infrastructure might be completely invisible or it might be powerfully physically present, but its effects are always felt and its absence is felt even more. No city can survive without the constant upgrading and improving of infrastructure that allows them to adapt and to accommodate change. Infrastructure affects all citizens and its improvement and its enhancement can make cities better, smarter, more equitable and more livable. Seen or unseen, it is the lifeblood of the city. Edwin Heathcote, Financial Times, London.